Welcome to How to Effectively Deliver a Toast. Here's where we're going. We're going to discuss the role, function, and importance of a toast and the elements of an effective toast. Toasts are formal expressions of goodwill, appreciation, or calls for group attention to an issue, idea, or person in a public setting, often followed by a synchronous consumption of beverages. Toasts require tact, grace, and a clear presence of mind. If you're a Toastmaster, especially, be sure to refrain from drinking alcohol until after you've completed your obligation. So big picture, how do we make a toast step by step? If possible, start by thinking about how best to honor the particular person, group, idea, or issue. After calling for attention, wait for silence. At least 50 to 75% of the room is a good rule of thumb. Be sure to hold the glass near your waist and then make your proposal. Remember, it's a short proposal. Don't look at only the audience alone. Make sure that you look at your honorees every once in a while as you make your proposal. And finally, be sure you raise your glass as you conclude. Mark Twain, in a letter to George Banton in 1888, once said, the difference between the almost right word and the right word is really a large matter. It's the difference between the lightning bug and the lightning. Choose your words carefully. Toasts are rooted in the situation. They're rooted in the context. Some common contexts include weddings, post-competition, to help on a holiday, or on a special occasion. This is an example of the Americans and Soviets raising their glasses at the end of World War II. Toasts are proposals based on etiquette. Etiquette is a conventional social custom or rule for behavior but social custom and rules behavior vary across communities and cultures. So it's very important to respect that particular community or culture in which your toast is rooted. Remember, keep it brief, make sure it's positive, and make sure that you're focusing on the honorees, not on yourself or anything else. William Shakespeare said it best, brevity is the soul of wit. So to review, in order to make sure you have the most successful toast possible, don't forget proper posture, keeping it brief, 30 words is your upper limit, and don't fall into the common pitfall that toast givers often make where they ramble on too long and talk about themselves instead of the honoree. And those are the steps and considerations for giving an effective toast.